Look for this logo for Honest Canadian Dairy. Good afternoon, everybody. So it's afternoon now. We're gonna be bringing straw into the barn here. As you can see, I got this whole middle roll already moved with cows. So what I do, I chase them through this way and they can either go left or right. And then I'll put a gate across the back. So cows will hang out on this side, but they're also allowed, they can walk around the back there if they wanna come on this side to the robot. This doesn't take very long to do. Maybe a half hour to bring straw in here. Uh, we like to bring straw in here Wednesdays or Thursdays. Today's a Wednesday. They're not extremely low on bedding, but I got time to do today instead of tomorrow. So let's go get her done. So this here is the new grapple bucket we were waiting on. Extremely handy, a lot better than the small one right here, especially for loading the mixer and bringing straw into the barn. This bucket's a bit tight through this door here, but it works. It gets the job done really quick. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be grabbing straw out of that blue shed over there. It's full of straw right now. All right, so this is our straw shed or where we keep the straw. Uh, we had a tub grinder back in December came in. He uh, tub ground about 138 bales into the shed, round bales. And uh, so on the screen, we made it to one inch. Extremely fine straw. So this is just where we keep it. So I grab it with a bucket here and then we bring it to the barn one bucket at a time. Like I said, it doesn't take very long, maybe half an hour, especially with this bigger bucket. Uh, before when we had the small bucket and we didn't have this big bucket we actually brought our loader tractor here and we would carry uh, a bigger like a big amount of straw from this shed to the front of the barn and then from the front of the barn I'd take the skid steer with a smaller bucket and bring it into the barn that way uh, the small bucket just traveling across the yard and with no grapple on it you would just lose half your load by the time you actually get to the barn so that's why we did that and then now we have the big bucket like this so now we don't bring the loader track here anymore. I just use this, it goes pretty quick.
the stall afterwards because right now the skid steer is not actually throwing it in the middle of both stalls. So I have to go with a shovel later and actually push it further into the stall. Also I'm not bringing as much in this way either. We got the barn filled with straw here so now what i gotta do is actually take the shovel as you can see it's not exactly in the middle of both rows so i'm just gonna push it ahead a bit and then i can let all the cows back in here i did do one pass with a bucket on the floor just to pick up what i dropped just so the scraper doesn't have a hard time bringing it to the back of the barn there so we're gonna scrape his head quick let the cows back doing what they want to do and then also we're going to put down a uh it's like a powder i guess it's it just kills all the bacteria if there is any in the stalls growing it's called staldrin so we're going to sprinkle that down right after we push the straw ahead So this is just kind of what we're doing just push it forward about two feet two and a half feet i'm not going to pull any back to the back because as soon as the cow gets in the stall they're just going to kick it back anyways and then come tonight when we clean the stalls out we actually just push more straw back forward and then we do that for a couple days till well we do that every day until well we bring straw in the barn again Straw push ahead. We're gonna open up all these gates here now, and then so the cows can come back where they want. I'm gonna leave the door open for a while. It's pretty. Nice day out today, so get some fresh air in here. As long goes I got. Oh yeah, also, we put brand new scrapers in this whole barn. So the old scrapers were just like extremely worn out. And uh, especially this middle aisle right here, actually none of the manure would ever like get scraped hardly. You had to babysit the scraper. So we replaced all three, all three lanes. And these things, I tell you, they work gorgeous. Like this. Look how clean this is. And it just every uh, two hours they run. So we keep it pretty clean. Also, this is like a rubber on rubber. So this is just a, there's a rubber kind of belt in here. This is actually what rides on this rubber. And then there's dolly wheels. So yeah, it's pretty excited we got those. We were waiting for those actually since we bought this farm. We ordered them right away and apparently with covid we were told they are all on back order and everything's actually made to order so it took about what, two months two and a half months to get those but they're in and they do a good job hey girls you guys can be free come on Even when I have the cows locked up like this, a lot of the cows still go to the robot. They know their way around this barn. That's why I leave the back open. They can come from that side all the way around the back and come down this way. So if they want to get milked, they can still get milked while I do this. But like again, this only takes like half hour, maybe 40 minutes at tops. So, so this is what we're gonna go put in the stalls now. It's called Staldrin. It smells pretty good. So this stuff and uh, bacteria are not friends.
that's why we put in the stalls. I try to do it every two or three days, just a handful of stall. And yeah, I'm gonna go put some gloves on. So it's just a powder. So one of these bags actually is supposed to do about 240 stalls. That's why you kind of just that much per stall and just kind of throw it in the stall. So we're gonna go do that now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, just watching how I put straw in the barn. Uh, reason I haven't been posting lately is it's just snow's melting. So I mean, there's not too much going on, honestly. And I don't want to post the same thing over and over and over again because dairy farms, we have a routine we, routine we do every single day. And myself, when I watch YouTube videos, I don't want to see the same thing all the time. So I assume you guys don't want to see the same thing either. So I'm only going to post videos kind of when there's interesting stuff going on. But I have been pretty busy. So there used to be a tree line right here. I took all that out. Now that the snow is melting, the ground's kind of unthawing. Kind of cleaned up the front of the barn a bit. Clean the trees out of here. It does look a lot better. Next kind of big project is uh, this whole garage is coming down. We're going to leave the shop up. Probably put some tin on it though. That building we're going to rip down and clean all this up. So that's kind of the plan for the next little bit honestly before field work starts to kick in so if you guys actually want to see this stuff go down we might get a hoe in here maybe a dozer tell me in the comments so uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up thanks for watching